हेलो इंजीनियर्स वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अनदर मोस्ट यूजफुल टिप्स एंड फ्रीक्वेंटली आस क्वेश्चन सो वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यूजली आस बाई स्टूडेंट्स दैट सर हाउ वी कैन मर्ज टू डिफरेंट मॉडल्स नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वेन दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन यूजली अराइव्स नाउ सी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज वी यूजली मॉडल अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इन द सिंगल स्टैंड फाइल ओनली राइट but there are some situations in which you have a huge building or let's say large plant dimension building in which particular case you need to separate that particular building with an expansion joint right or it might be a situation that for that particular building two different engineers are working on two separate models okay so just to give you an example let's say here i have one particular processing plant building you can see over here which has this particular plant dimension of 62 meter right and as you can observe over here this particular building is separated by the expansion joint at the 32 meter level let me just show you a 3d view for this say right so it might be a situation that this particular model of one part is operated by one engineer and this one is operated by a different engineer right and you want to merge this now similar situation may arrive uh, in another case let's say you have a shelter so let me just give you an example of the shelter as well over here you can see i have one large model large model which has a plant dimension or let's say it has a dimension in the length 90 meter so this particular is the shelter with the length of 19 meter and width of 12 meter right so here also you can observe this particular is separated by an expansion joint in between right so if you have two different models how you can merge this right so let's get started let's understand what are the points you should keep in mind while merging two models and what precautions you need to take right so that you you may not lead to an error so stay tuned and watch till the end so just to understand this let me just go close this uh, another files okay so that you will get the clear understanding now let's first understand the method one okay now just to give you uh, the understanding uh, here i have consider two sample models okay let me just give in a highlight so here there is one stat file which has a name merge model and another one is the same stat file with the name merge model 2 okay now the first simplest way is to just go with the copy paste command okay so it's a quick tool but it is only applicable if you need to merge the frame geometry only right now if you need to merge all other attributes of the model then you have to go with the other method okay so in the first method let's say you have only just geometrical part not the other parts okay so you can just simply go with the copy paste option and you can utilize this okay now let me just give you an highlight so first of all you need to check your origin of the structure or where it is located exactly in the coordinate system right because once you utilize the copy paste option right usually what happens when you paste the model okay so it will ask you for the origin or where you want to paste so let me just give you an highlight i'll just press control c and if i paste beam it will give me a tab where i need to specify the locations of the coordinate where i need to paste the model right so this one is the simplest method you can utilize now before pasting that now see this is the first method now in this particular you can only copy the geometrical part rest of the things we will discuss further in the second method that what issues you can face while copy pasting this so let's first focus on this particular method okay so see let me just show you uh, if i check this particular model uh, it has the length of 9 meter and here 6 meter each with 3 meter bay width right and if i check its location right it is located at 0 0 okay now see now the same model if it is located in the another stat file at the 0 0 location right and if you try to paste it over here 
it will simply ignore the segment why because both the models are almost same with the same span and width right and it will give you a warning right of the duplicate members right so now let's just check out what is the situation in model number two merge model two now here if you can see here the model is located at 9.5 meter okay so ultimately if I paste it directly you can observe the first model is somewhere here from 0 to 9 meter and this one is located at 9.5 meter in the x direction so directly we can paste it right because I have checked the coordinates if it was at the same location then you will get the warning of duplicate members and right? so first you need to identify the location of the segment you want to paste now simply I'll just copy it okay now it is already at the 9.5 meter location right if you check about the origin part so we will paste it over here in the model 1 control V so I switch to the model 1 now see if I kept it as in 0 0 now the second model which was already located at 9.5 right so if I paste it over here by default 0 0 location ultimately it will paste somewhere here at the 9.5 location right so if we kept it 0 0 let's say press ok so you can observe the model has been copied from the other segment over here right and you can see there is a gap of 500 mm why because the model was already at the 9.5 meter location right if you add up the distance it will add it by default with the 9.5 now let me just take you to the another example like I'll undo it okay I'll remove this now ignore the property segment currently okay we will discuss this particular further but this particular is only applicable for the geometrical part only or if it has same geometrical properties with both the models right if the properties are different you need to check out we will check out that in the method too. currently we are only discussing the geometrical part okay now let's say I'll paste it over here now if I enter 3 meter now that particular model is already at 9.5 if I enter 3 meter see what is happening that was at the 9.5 so it has paid at 3.5 got it so this particular thing you have to keep in mind both the methods right as it was already at the 9.5 location we have just added 3 meter more so ultimately it has considered like this understood so this is the first method and remember it is only applicable to the geometrical part only or if both the members have same property otherwise it will not work now let's talk about the second part right now see here you can observe for the model 1 I have assigned some property right so as you can observe here it has property ISMB 600 for all the columns and denoted by R1 right similarly it can have multiple property for like columns beams right now just to show you an example I have considered a small element right but let's say if you have a large model something like this right where you have different categories of beams and columns then you have to take care now what care you should take let's just understand so here in this particular model as you can observe it has property which is defined by reference 1 ISMB 600 now similarly for the model 2 if I check I'll go to the property part you can observe here all the members are denoted with the ISMC 300 now see here is the catch now see when you copy this particular model to the model number one over here what will be this scenario see both the models have some property right here it is ISMB 600 and here it is ISMC 300 R1 is denoted in both the cases right now let's just understand this through a sample problem now just to give you an idea I have prepared a small segment to made you aware okay so in this situation what you need to take care let's just check out so let's say these are two different models right model 1 has member designated R1 and so does model 2 right but in model 1 R1 
is a different property like ismb 600 right and r2 has ismc 300 now if you paste members with the property designated r1 from model 2 to model 1 now the program will assign the r1 members from model 2 with the r1 properties the way they are defined in model 1 okay now understand this scenario let's say you are pasting this particular model so what will happen so in this scenario the members you had intended to be ismc 300 it will ends up as ismb 600 okay so this point you need to take care now let's just understand through this example so here here r1 is ismb 600 right currently and in the other model we have ismc 300 now if i copy this particular it has also the r1 segment but when i copy this let's control c control all or you can copy directly from here as well copy go to the second part now i'm pasting model over here right i'm keeping it at zero zero that particular model is at already at 9.5 meter location so it will paste it over here with this 500 mm gap right why because this particular we have first model was already at the location of 9 meter and this one was at 9.5 so the gap is 0.5 now you can observe over here what was what happened right it has considered all the properties of r1 that is your main model where you have pasted so that's the catch that point you need to keep in mind otherwise what different things you can do you just have to identify all the properties with different member numbers right that is the one scenario you can see let's say for this particular model you can renumber all the members assign a different property and similarly for this particular model as well assign a different member numbers using the renumber method which is available in the geometrical tab right here you have the renumber option you can utilize this and renumber all the members with a different entity right and specify your r1 r2 r3 differently the way here r1 is something else you can assign it with the different numbers let's say over here r1 is assigned with let me just give you a highlight let's say i'll just assign to only three members right now if i go to the other model over here okay i will assign it to only this particular segment let's say 9 10 and 12 why because the member numbers are different or you can rename this with different numbers let's say the first model has members starting from 1 to 100 and the second model has member numbers starting from 200 so that's the catch you can utilize okay here currently it is with the different catch right just to show you but let's say this particular member numbers are different right then you can work out or what you can do you can go to the you can simply go to the editor part over here assign the property directly with the numbers right that's how you can make it happen so in the second method to resolve this what you can do that you can even open your input file stat input or stat editor right so in that particular you can copy paste your member indices and properties from your another file okay now if you have two stat models you can open both of them and use the copy and paste commands in the editor to copy the join coordinates member indices member properties constant etc to merge the two smaller files into a single input file now you will need to exercise a certain amount of care in this particular task right because of the constant member property or loading you need to take care now see the copy paste will not work correctly if you have duplicate entity members plates solids or nodes numbers that you have to keep in mind as i said renumber all the entities now see to prevent the conflicts from duplicate numbers in the input file you should check that each stat model you intended to merge has completely unique entity numbers as i said and if there are duplicate numbers in the models 
you wish to merge you can use stats renumber command as i suggest be careful to copy and paste the various items from you mod from your models in the correct order for example the member indices and join co join coordinates must precede the properties and constants etc for the members and joints now see you cannot tell the program that member particular let's say member number 5 is ismb 600 without first specifying the member indices and join coordinates for that particular member number 5 so i hope this particular video bring some value in your daily engineering tips right and saves your sufficient time while analyzing a particular structure in stat if you wish to learn structural engineering from us for steel or rcc structures you can connect with us through our linkedin or instagram where we post daily design engineering tips for engineers for more details regarding the structural engineering learning check out the information in the description box remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you